Hi there, this is David and welcome to Let's Play Ease 4 Mask of the Sun. This was originally released in November of 1993, just a month before Ease 4 Dawn of Ease came out. And uh, yeah, they basically wanted to rush it to market to beat the TurboGrafx-16 version of Ease 4, but you know what they say about rushed games. Yeah. So there is no voice acting in this version, hardly really any cutscenes besides this opening cutscene, but it's still a good Ease game nonetheless. It uses bump combat. It doesn't go back to, you know, the Zelda 2 version of Ease 3 or anything else like that. So, it's still a pretty good game, and it's nice to see two takes on one story. You know, Falcom gave Tonkin House and Hudson the general basic outline of what they wanted to see in Ease 4, and then they just kind of ran with it, you know? And I think that's really neat, you know, that really doesn't happen a lot in any games. You don't see it in, like, you know, Final Fantasy or Tales of Dragon Quest or anything else like that. But you see it here. It's very unique. It's kind of a strange quirk in history, actually. So, I like it. I like seeing, you know, just this this little, this little differences and stuff like that. And I'll be pointing out those differences um, as we go through, mainly right now. You can see the difference insofar as the the cutscene. We don't get really the cutscene that we got in um, in the Dawn of Ease game, which was so so good with the voice acting and all that kind of stuff. It was really cool. I will say though that I feel like the graphics in this game are better. They're they're different, but I don't know. They just seem more detailed in this version, and I like it. I think it's nice. So yes, this is just recounting um, Adol's adventures back in Asteria, back during Ease 1 and 2. Because Ease 4 takes place right after Ease 1 and 2. Ease 3 actually takes place after Ease 4. So yeah, it's kind of a little flashback, a little throwback. I guess they were really trying to distance themselves from Wanderers from Ease uh, with this game by even kind of suggesting that memories or um, that, um, that Wanderers from Ease hasn't even happened yet. Oh. Oh, okay, so we got a letter in a foreign language, and he had to go back to Gemma and, uh, have him translated it. Oh. Huh. There's danger in Celsetta! Yeah. Hmm, I wonder who wrote this letter. Ooh. I wonder who that girl is. Hmm. Maybe she's the one who wrote the letter? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out in E's Mask of the Sun. So let's see. First things first, let's go to the options menu. The only thing that I really want to change is the message speed to fast. Everything else is fine by me. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a much shorter game than um, Dawn of Ease, by the way. As you'll see, many things were cut. Yeah, here's Doki. Yeah, we're leaving, sorry. Oh. Huh. So we don't even get to see Lilia? We got to see her in Dawn of Ease? That kind of sucks. Oh. Uh, yeah. Can't we explore the town? We got to explore the town in the other game? Really, Doki? Seriously? Oh, well, yeah, you're just a sailor. You're not the captain. Oh, okay. Perfect. Well, bye, Dogie. At least we're not leaving you in the middle of the night when you're, like, left in a drunken stupor. We're actually, you know, saying goodbye, so that's nice. Oh, and who are you? Whoa! Oh, Dr. Flair! Huh. So Dr. Flair is going to come with us to Celsetta right at the beginning of the game this time? He's not going to wait until, you know, halfway through the game to come with us? Hmm. Yeah, this game uses kind of anime dialogue boxes where, um, 
like the boxes kind of overlap with each other right. rather than just replacing a dialogue box. Ease really was going for like a 90s anime thing going on with Ease 4. Ease 5 does the same thing. I like how the dialogue text boxes are like in different colors depending on who's speaking. It reminds me of Illusion of Gaia, actually. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, sounds like a plan. So, do I have myself set in equipment? No! I have nothing in this version of the game! Yeah, that sucks. And we couldn't even explore Minia or anything. Uh. Oh. Okay. Of course I'm looking for adventure. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll have to keep that in mind for later. Anyway, let's just go exploring. There's many locked doors in this game. If you see a house that I don't go into, that's because the door is locked. And uh, there's really no reason to go into it because you can't. So yeah, I'm gonna be skipping all of those houses that are locked. Up, that was me. Yeah, and I didn't even get into a shipwreck this time. Big Sin and Norton, who are they? Um, okay. Are they just, like, random NPCs? Or maybe they were in, like, the original NES or SNES versions, and I just completely, you know, don't remember from whenever I played those long time ago when I was a little kid. Because the game that I played here on YouTube was, um, the PSP version. Oh, what's going on now? And who are you? Oh, it's that Norton guy. Um, if you say so. Oh. Well, yeah, that was just me killing the uh, source of all evil. Sure, you can go have a drink. Oh, it's fine. You can go day drinking. Maybe it's a Sunday. That's what I do on a Sunday. I mean, what else is there to do? I wake up, I go to the gym, then I go to the bar. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, what do you want to ask me? Well, actually, yeah, I am planning on leaving. I need to go to Salsetta, because someone's in danger! More than likely, a really pretty girl. Of course. Uh, yeah. No, actually, I don't. Oh, like what? What strange rumors. Oh, the Roman Empire! Rahahili! <laughs> yeah, this is actually the first time that the Roman Empire really is mentioned in the Ease series. Um, they're basically your general evil empire. Oh. Uh, hey. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, more than likely. Um, no, I'm not gonna leave now. Are you kidding me? I have to go explore the town and talk to people. Oh, I'll try not to. I don't remember who you are, but sure, if you say so. Anyway, these are locked doors. Yeah, like I said, they're locked. You can't do anything with them, so don't worry about it. Hey there, lady. Oh. Um, sure. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, cool. Great. Five magical swords that can be used to cast spells. Yeah, magic is a bit different in this game. Uh, each sword has its own spell, and we'll get more into that as we gather those um, magical swords as we, you know, progress through the game. So let's just uh, keep on moving and grooving right along through here. Let's see, this house is open. Hey there. Um, I just spent all last night drinking like a fish. The last thing I want right now is a glass of wine. Uh. Oh. You know, Asteria was completely cut off from the rest of the world um, during Ease 1 and 2, so you would think that trade would be, like, bustling now that it's freed and everything. Yeah, and all the shops are closed right now. Apparently, none of them open up after 10 o'clock. And apparently, I'm a dirty liar! No, I don't. Oh, 
really sells valuable information. You don't say. Um, wait, so hold on. The stores don't open till after 10 o'clock. So conceivably, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning or something. And these people are talking about nice stiff drinks right after work, as if it's like, you know, late in the day. So, yeah, I don't know. Sure, what's your tale of woe? Um, there's a lot of girls outside wandering around. Guess so. Called you here to the bar? What? Something tells me he's that this girl is gonna want me? The dashing adventurer over some loser drunk in a bar. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I'll deliver your letter. It's fine. I don't really care. But we do get a little bit of reward for it. Oh. M -m -m monsters Oh no! Oh, um, yeah, and a locked door. My greatest nemesis! There's poison in this game. Whoever thought that poison was a good idea in an ease game, whenever you stand still and gain HP, should be like shot. Yeah, I got a letter for you. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, all these stores are closed. Anyway, let's go back to the bar and get our reward for giving that girl her letter. Let's see, I think this is the bar, I'm pretty sure. Hey there. Of course I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm an awful person. Seriously? Well, like I said, I'm an awful human being. <laughs> Screw you. If you did say no and you told the girl that it was from um, from that guy in the bar, then all you would have gotten was 10 gold. And I would rather get that kind of funny dialogue than get 10 gold. That's kind of useless, so yeah, whatever. Anyway, go on in here. Hey there. Arp. Really? Huh. Maybe one of them wrote me the message in the bottle. More than likely so. Uh, there's locked houses down here, but yeah, there's this girl that we can talk to, too. Yeah, everything's peaceful there. That means that we have to leave, and go to where it's not peaceful. This right here is the inn that we were at earlier where we drank all night, but I don't... Yeah, there's not even an innkeeper in here. There's nobody in there. If we just robbed that place blind, no one would be the wiser. Hmm. Okay, well... Let's go and uh, talk to Flair. I am ready to roll. Okay. See you guys. I don't even know who you are, but bye. Thanks, I guess. Oh, wow, we already made it to the next city? That was really quick. Okay. So yeah, we've actually made it into Salsetta now. Huh, it took me like three or four videos to make it into Salsetta in Dawn of Ease, but I'm here right in the first video. But what awaits us here in Salsetta? Find out next time I'll let's play Ease 4 Mask of the Sun. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.